MTV Action 3 News reporter Emily Zink is live outside Disney World with an update on this horrible tragedy. Emily. Well, guys, on our flight from Omaha to Orlando, obviously there were a lot of families on that flight headed to Disney. Everyone was talking about this tragedy, saying it could have been anyone, and their hearts absolutely break for the Graves family. Officials here at Disney say they are doing everything in their power to make sure a tragedy like this one never happens again. A freak accident on a family vacation. It's very rare for people to be attacked by alligators. It's, it's very rare in Florida or anywhere where you find alligators. Officials say while two-year-old Lane Graves and his father Matt waded in about a foot of water Tuesday evening in the Seven Seas Lagoon near Disney's Grand Floridian Resort, an alligator attacked the child. And the father entered the water and grabbed the alligator's head and was trying to uh, take the child from the grips of the alligator's mouth. Orange County Sheriff Jerry Deming says the 911 call came in a little after 9 o'clock Tuesday evening. A frantic search for the toddler ensued. More than 50 people scoured the lagoon for any signs of the boy. Florida Fish and Wildlife employees captured, euthanized, and examined at least five alligators during that time, but no signs of the boy until Wednesday afternoon. At about 3.30 today, we recovered the remains of the two-year-old from the water. Sheriff Deming says having to tell Matt and Melissa Graves that they found their son is the hardest thing he has ever had to do as sheriff. Uh, they sobbed, they were very distraught, but then as they worked through that, what they said to us was thank you for honoring what you told us you would do. The Orange County Sheriff's Department vowed to continue to look for Lane until his body was recovered. I believe that it was somewhat of a relief to them the fact that the child was not dismembered by the alligator. His body was completely intact. Deming says the Graves family is trying to stay strong through support and their faith. They wanted to thank the people who have shown various random acts of kindness to them uh, during this ordeal and uh, they were appreciative of the efforts of all the men and women who were out here searching for this child. Sheriff Demings tells me they still need to perform forensic tests on those alligators that they caught to make sure they captured the right one that was responsible for the attack. He says if they did not catch that alligator, they will go back out and find it. Live in Lake Buena Vista, Florida, Emily Zink came to be Action 3 News. Emily